Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I am a reseller on Poshmark and now eBay. Uh, I'm a newbie there and uh, I have a really big haul today so I'm not going to give much of an intro other than just to tell you that I sourced a lot this weekend. So I decided to do one full day at regular Goodwill stores and one full day at the Goodwill outlets and try and spend approximately the same amount of money so that I could show you everything that I got from the two days and then at the end tell you the estimated profit from each day and um, minus the fees, minus the cost and, and all that stuff. So with that, I'm just gonna jump right in and hopefully I have everything organized and don't get frazzled. So the first day I went to two different Goodwill stores and this is what I got. I'll tell you the, um, or I'll show you the piece and then I'll tell you the um, sale price that I'm hoping to get. So obviously some things could sell for a little bit more and some things could sell for a little bit less. Um, I did stay up very late after getting home late to do all of these comps because I feel like I'm starting to get a little sick and I wanted to get this video up. So this first one is a anthropology silk dress. I had never seen this label, but I did look up the RN number and it matches. It's a beautiful, it's got some ruffle details and I'm hoping to get uh, about $40 for that. This next one is a Bowden cardigan. It's kind of basic. It's uh, kind of a great neutral and it's in a size four, but uh, I think this was actually when I needed to leave the store to run to the post office to drop off some packages and um, I may have put this back, but I'm hoping to get about $22 for this. This next one is Ted Baker. They are a size 36. They're men's really kind of fun, kind of deep purple uh, chino pants. I'm hoping to get about 40 for those. This next one is, I have found this brand, it's Mod Cloth, but this is, uh, or this is sold through Mod Cloth. It's called Fervor, I believe that's how you say it. It's a really pretty mint green dress, kind of flowy dress. Um, and uh, I haven't, so I have another dress by this brand. I haven't sold it yet, but I know Mod Cloth has pretty decent comps, and I thought this is perfect for spring. So I'm, ex I'm hoping to get about $40 for that. This next one is a, another Bowdoin item, and this is a great size. It's a size 10 L, 10 long, but it's this beautiful blue dress, and I loved the, the kind of sheer lace detail on the sleeves, and it's just, it's beautiful. So I'm hoping to get about 40 for that. I do have some water just in case my throat gets dry. Um, just wanted to be prepared. So these are, is the first time I found this brand and the tag's a little worn, but you can see it's um, current Elliott. And I debated on getting these because the comps were kind of all over the place. Some do well, some don't, um, you know, only get about 20. So I decided to get them because I think they were good size, 28. They were kind of a classic style and I don't have this brand in my Poshmark closet. So I thought it would be a good addition. I'm hoping on a, maybe a good day if I let the right buyer find me at $40 for those. This was a new brand that I had to look up. It's called Hobbs London. And I think this one does a little bit better on eBay, but it's this beautiful kind of deep purple dress. And um, it's it's small, but it's, it's kind of a fitted form dress. Um, yeah, it's a size two. But uh, this on eBay, I'm hoping to get about $40 for this. I didn't find much athletic wear, like Lululemon or anything like that, but I did look. This is the Carrie Underwood brand, and it doesn't have any internal tags, but that's the symbol for it. Uh, these are just some gray capri pants, and they kind of have the ruching at the end. Uh, so there's no size, so I'll have to do measurements. I do have a pair that has a print down the side, and um, they haven't sold yet, but with January coming and apparently workout tops selling 
or workout clothing and selling more at that time. Um, I thought it was a good pickup, so I'm hoping to get about 28 for those. This is another new brand. And um, Claudie Perlot, maybe. Um, so this is a really basic sweater and I thought maybe I shouldn't get it because it was kind of too basic. It does have right here the logo and this brand can get very expensive. So I'm gonna start it at 35 and hope for about 28. It's in good condition, so. <laughs> My dog just, just walked up, is wondering what all this stuff is. This is a Sam Edelman really pretty dress. Another one I thought was perfect for spring, but if you can see, there's kind of this, um, not rhinestones, I'm blanking, um, but it creates a little sparkle on some of the triangles, which I thought was super cute. And I'm hoping to get about 30 for that. This pair I probably shouldn't picked up when I started doing comps last night, but it is kind of perfect for spring. These are blank NYC, a good size 29, kind of yellow skinny picked jeans. And uh, the comps were not great on this on Poshmark, so I'm only hoping to get about 22 for this, but they are kind of a cute jean for spring. Here's some rag and bone, and this is the um, Dre style. I do have some rag and bone that haven't sold yet, but they haven't been there for very long. Um, I think this is a high waist style, and this has a raw hem, which the other pair doesn't. So, um, they're pretty tiny, it's size 26. So I'm hoping to get about 55 for these. And then this is a pair of J brand. And the reason I picked these up, because I haven't had much luck with this brand, is they're a size 31, which is a great size. And they're just in great condition, you know, no wear whatsoever. And um, they could just kind of have that new feeling. Obviously, I won't say it's new by any means, but I mean, just zero wear and just has that really nice, um, like it came right out of store soft feeling. Um, so I'm hoping to get about 30 for these. I liked the wash on those. So there's two bags from the stores and then quite a few bags from the outlets. So this next item I was excited to find, All Saints, and this is a men's button down, and it's got this anim gray animal print, which I thought was kind of fun. Uh, it's a size medium, and I'm hoping to get about 45 for this. I found another Lafayette 148, and I just sent a couple of these jackets to the Real Real, and there were uh, some deodorant marks, so they didn't didn't take them. But um, I have sold a few items from this brand, and I really liked that there's kind of this silver throughout. I don't know if it's picking up, but so it's kind of a classic blazer. But the great thing about this is the size; it's a size 16. So I am hoping to get about 60 for this because that size does well. The first time I found this brand, and this is equipment, and this is just a really pretty silk button down for women. Um, so I'm hoping to get these. The, the cute prints on this were actually some of them were going for a hundred. Um, I'm I'm hoping to I'm gonna start this at 75 and hope for 60 on that. This one's just so beautiful and perfect, I think, for spring. It's an anthro, the Diletta, but I loved, I love white, but I loved if you can see the bottom and then on the sides, there's kind of this nice button detail. Uh, so I just loved the look of it. It's very lightweight and like I said, I think perfect for spring. So I'm hoping to get about 30 for that. Another brand I had to look up and comps were kind of a little bit all over the place, but I think this does better on eBay. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I saw Made in Italy, so I decided to look it up. It's really kind of a fun print. It's a men's button down. I'm wondering if a lot of these men's button downs that are kind of high end came from the same person, but um, I did, I, th I think I'm gonna try this on both, but I, I think I should hopefully get about 30 for that. This is a John Barbados. And this is the regular label. Um, it's not made in Italy, so some of, I think that's a little bit 
um, higher end, but it's also not the star made in USA, um, which is their, I think, lower end. So this is just a button down, men's button down, and I'm hoping to get about 30 for that. My dog just sneezed. This is uh, Emporio Armani. Um, it's this really pretty men's button down. I loved the print. And some of these on eBay go for quite a bit, but I'm gonna start it at 40 so it doesn't sit. Um, but I am loving, I found quite a few good men's stuff at this one store, so I was pretty excited about that. This is a really great find. Um, this is Free People, just the metal. And this is kind of a bomber style jacket, but the fabric, it's cotton. It's got some zipper details, but it kind of feels like it's velvet where all this um, floral print is, or do, I don't know if it's floral, but it's just beautiful and it's in great condition. And it's a size 12, which is awesome. So I'm gonna actually start this a little high and start this at 75 because I think it's unique. I couldn't find one. I did do a quick, uh, comps very quickly because I was um, wanting to get this video up. So I might have, I might reevaluate some of the pricing when I actually go to list. Hopefully all of this will get listed this week. This is Nanette Lepore, which is a designer. I've sold a few of her items. I loved this top. It's not buttoned all the way or it's not, uh, it doesn't have all the clasp done. So it would close all the way on the front, but I thought it was super cute, especially for her spring coming. Some people are loyal fans of this designer. So I'm only expecting to get about 30 for that, but it, it's cute, so. This is Cupcakes and Cashmere, and I thought this was just beautiful, the, the color blue, and then it's got kind of the animal print on it. It's not silk, I think it's polyester, um, and it has a little tie in the front. I do need to get this little red mark out, which won't be a problem. My, um, some of the Goodwills near me that use red in their boutique, um, it's a washable red, so that's that's kind of nice. Also, the average price of all of these items was $5.20, um, which is not bad. It's pretty average for what I find. Uh, these are some Eileen Fisher, some skinny pants. It's kind of a dark gray, and I'm hoping to get, I don't know if I said, I'm hoping to get 30 for the cupcakes and cashmere. I'm hoping to get about 35 for these Eileen Fisher pants. Another brand I looked up just based off of the label, it's called Billy Reed, it's size large, kind of just looks like your basic sweatshirt, kind of, you know, small stripes on it. But I just thought, eh, this tag looks kind of cute, I'll look it up. And this was where all the kind of higher end men's stuff on a small rack was. So I looked it up and it, it actually is a pretty decent brand. So I'm gonna start this at 45 and I'm hoping to get about 35. This one was cute, I don't pick up many kids items. Um, and, and, and I don't know, I, but this was cute. So this is just a little boys blazer. Love this little um, red part in the patch, but this is Ted Baker, but it's the boys line. So it's Baker by Ted Baker, the little lowercase B. Uh, this is a size, I want to say 16, 12, 12. And I don't know much about kids stuff or boys blazers or anything, but um, I thought it was worth a shot. It's adorable. So I'm hoping to get about 32 for that. Or no, I'm hoping to get 30 for that. This one I was excited to find and I learned something new. I believe this is the newer page label, but uh, the size was a 38, which I um, I thought that was fairly high. I thought page was only women's, um, but apparently these are men's. These are called the men or Lennox, and they're kind of a slim leg jean again this is another pair that has i mean it feels brand new like it was folded right out of a bag uh so it's a great size size 38 and these actually go for quite a bit some of them were selling used um for about 100 so i'm gonna list it more reasonably at about 75 but really great size and great find and learn something new so and then i got a few ties i'm starting to pick up ties so you can either bundle or some of them can sell for quite a bit on their own so I did get a few, they were pretty cheap there. There were two Hugo Boss that I thought I could bundle. So there are the labels. One's a little bit more of a skinny tie and one is kind of more classic. 
but I thought those were cute. And for the two of those, I'm hoping to get about 30. This is a Ted Baker and this is new. So it does have the label, maybe Nordstrom or something. So it has the compare at 95 and then their price was 29.97. I might trim that off and just keep the part of the tag. I don't know, or just leave it. But I thought it was a really pretty um, purple Ted Baker tie and I'm hoping to get about 32 for that. This was, I think my one fail. I was just in the tie pulling mode. I saw uh, Valentine, Valentino and Italy and I didn't really know what the Mary was and I didn't look it up. This basically cost a dollar. Um, and when I got home and looked up comps, um, I might get $10 for this or I might just save it and bundle it with a lot of ties. So that was it from the first store. So there were um, at that store or at those two stores that first day on Saturday, there were, let's see, um, 32 items. The two ties will be bundled. Um, so that I consider that kind of one item. So basically 30 items, full day of sourcing and definitely some good finds. So I'm just happy with that. If I get all the sale price, um, I'm estimating about a thousand dollars and ninety two dollars. Sorry, a thousand ninety two for the uh, total sale um, price minus the fees. It would bring it down to about eight hundred and seventy three dollars. So I know you would like to play. My dog is right here. Um, okay, so the next is the second day, and um, it there's a lot, but. I did find a lot of pairs of shoes. I did go with my mom to the bin, so it was two of us, which might be an unfair advantage, uh, but she actually spent quite a bit of time looking at comps. We brought a chair this time. If you go to the bins, just bring one of those foldable chairs. Huge help, um, because we could just kind of take a seat every once in a while. But with that, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I had a big fen Fendi day. Um, and I have these shoes scattered everywhere stuff everywhere. So I found this shoe and I'm not sure if it's going to pick up, but I spotted this one and they, at this location, they put the shoes and the hard goods all kind of together. And I found this Fendi saw the made in Italy saw on the bottom. It said Fendi made in Italy and really funky style. I found one. And so I go through this line of bins again and couldn't, couldn't find the pair, couldn't find the pair. And I'm pulling other pairs, so it wasn't like a waste of time, but I'm just kind of stuck on this Fendi. Finally, my mom's across the, the way, and I go and get her, and I show her the shoe. I said, I need your help. And partly, I think your eyes just get stuck sometimes on other things. You, like, I've seen this, I've seen this. So she took a look, and she found the pair, and she also found another pair of the similar style. These ones have some um, kind of grime, so these have not been cleaned up. Again, I just got back late last night. But again, really kind of funky pair. Um, the bottom seemed to be in really great condition. So if I could get those cleaned up, the, the comps are all over the place, but if I can get these cleaned up, I'm gonna probably start them at 100. Hope for about 75. This was a very similar style. So kind of a smaller um, little heel, but kind of similar style. And this same kind of label. This has, I don't know if it's gonna show, but it looks like they put something to kind of not slip. Um, so I'm gonna to have to use some Goo Gone and try and get that out and um, see what I can do. They also have these, like they put some patches on the top. So anyways, needless to say, these need to be cleaned up, but both of these pairs, if we can get them cleaned up, start them at 100. I think they could maybe go for more, but I, you know, you kind of want to move some of this stuff. So the next pair are, was a brand. And sometimes when you just see the bottom of a pair of shoes and it has the little made in Italy and it has a European size, if you don't know the brand, it's in my opinion, worth picking up and um, looking up. So this one, we did just that. And this is a really high end brand. Um, so I'm not sure how you say it, Pierre Hardy. And they were just these really pretty sandals. Obviously they need to be, um, use a clear thing for photos and stuff like that. But I thought they were actually in decent condition. 
And um, then I noticed when I got home last night, that if you look, one has these little um, kind of bigger gems and one doesn't. I don't know if that's intentional. Sometimes, you know, designers do interesting things like that. Um, but I think if it's not intentional, again, I'm going to have to do more research on this. Um, I think these could actually be clipped off so they could be a matching pair. So I'm going to do some research. This also has a little bit of residue at the bottom. And then it also had on one, this little like non-slip kind of thing on the bottom. So going to have to get these cleaned up as well. But if I can get them cleaned up, I'm probably gonna start these at about 75 and hope for about 60. I mean, again, some of those things from the brand went for well over $100. So I found these really great condition. These are over the knee gray boots, kind of wedge style. And this is Franco Sardo and really great condition. Worn, I mean, a little bit of wear on the heel. But uh, beautiful color, great neutral color. Uh, I'm gonna start these at uh, 60 and hope for about 45. And then these next shoes were kind of fun. These are some red loafers, Ed Hardy loafers. Couldn't find in the, in the, in the store, couldn't find many comps, but really great condition, very clean. Benz. Um, so Ed Hardy has a big following. Couldn't find these exact shoes. They do need to a little be cleaned up a little bit, a little bit of kind of dirt on the heel, a uh, suede brush. Hopefully we'll clean that up. So I'm going to start these at 40. I just couldn't find anything exactly like it in my quick search. And yeah. And then I was excited to find these. These are some really heavy duty Uggs men's Ugg. So they do have the, um, what is this called? Sherling, um, and the inside. So they're nice and warm, very heavy duty. They do need to be, has some leather conditioner, but great condition. Um, so these I'm going to start at a hundred. I'm not sure what to do with all this stuff. Um, these were, kind of, again, I have to say I don't pick up kids and then I Picked up some kid stuff. I saw this label, thought it was worth looking up. They're pretty tiny, which are adorable. Um, you know, some little kid ran around in the mud and snow, I'm guessing. But nice little winter boot. And this brand does actually pretty well. So um, I'm going to start this at about 45. And I think I'm hoping to get about 35 for those. Let's see. I'm trying to stay in order. Hopefully that's helpful. This was a weird kind of different shoe. So these, you know, some sort of snow, the top can go over your pants or under your pants. I'm not actually, um, but they looked a little bit like the bottom part was a little bit yellowing. Uh, great condition though. And these might be vintage. I knew Diodora, I, I grew up playing soccer and I knew that was a soccer brand, but I'm not sure if this is the same brand or a different brand. But I'm going to start these at 50. Some of these have sold for 50. I want to say on eBay. So I'll start them there and hope for the best. This was a pair of Lucky Wedge booties, which are in great condition. I mean, they've been worn, but not bad at all. So classic kind of wedge booty. And I'm going to start those. Uh, they were kind of tiny. I think they were six. So I'm going to start those at 45. Let's see. I found another pair of Ugg boots. And I, these are smaller and I believe, I believe women's. But really cute kind of tie. Um, I think you can tie them around your ankle. Pretty decent condition, which is great. And yeah, I thought the style was really cute. So I'm going to start those at 75. And this was a pair of men's and they looked, uh, I know Street Savvy, I can't remember the brand, but she's found some boots by a kind of a high-end brand and they're intentionally distressed. But when you find them at the bins, you're kind of like, are these supposed to be that way? But um, some men's boots, but if you see on the bottom, they're like near perfect condition. I mean, I just don't see anywhere. So I, this is a brand called Stacy Adams. 
I guess it's on the bottom as well. And um, they, they have just kind of a little bit of that distressed look. And I think it's intentional. Um, oh, now I'm seeing a flaw. That's, that's okay. All right. Well, apparently this one is missing the strap. So this one has a little strap that goes over it. So I might try and sell them as is. Maybe, you know, could still get a little bit of money back for them. Um, or, you know, sell them at a yard sale or something. Um, but that's part of the thrifting in general is getting some, um, getting home and finding some damage. So who knows? First time finding or picking up Crocs, not finding. But I decided to give it a shot. Size 10, men's. They're super lightweight. So... I don't think they'll go for much. If I were to sell the Stacy Adams, I was gonna list them at about 45 and hopefully get about 35. The Crocs, I'm gonna you know, start them at 25. Hope for about 18. And there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of bags. And I'm at 26 minutes. I've gotta, gotta get going. These are some boots via Spiga. And they are worn, but still in good condition. If you see the heel, not much wear on the heel. Really classic style, love the color. And I'm going to start those at 60. These are, I wanna say it like brand new, Nine West. This is, a, the style is called Vasuki. And they're six and a half, so they're relatively small. But, I mean, you can see just perfect condition. I'm going to start those at 60. This style seemed to do pretty well. I think it's just because it's a classic kind of riding boot style. Last, last shoes, but I was glad to find shoes. So, um, and we did throw back a lot of singles. Actually, I don't know what I did with that. There is somewhere. Uh, Denali would be so proud but I'm not sure if it's in one of these bags. It might be. Yeah, I did find another Tory Burch solo. I picked it up this time. Um, wasn't in perfect condition, but she says they sell. And now that I'm joining eBay and on eBay, I figured that would be a, it's lightweight and it was worth it. So these are some Elizabeth and James. These are some really kind of fun, they kind of wrap around the ankle. Not sure if it's gonna give that impression. Sandals. Um, and they're, in, they're great size, 11B, good condition, so light wear on the bottom. Uh, one of these had a sticker on it. I think this one, so there's a little bit of residue that I'll have to get off, but these this style actually does quite well, so I'm actually gonna start these at 75, so I was definitely excited to find those. All right, first bag of clothing. So all the clothing at the bins, um, 49 items are gonna, going to be put away, put aside for upcoming mystery boxes. So um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I've already shared that I'm, because I find so much cute stuff that I leave behind because I'm trying to get some higher priced items in my closet to kind of balance it out. Um, I thought because I find so much anthro and free people and made well and really cute stuff, if I started picking it up at the bins, usually it's pretty lightweight, um, I could start doing some mystery box in the near future. So I like size specific and I like knowing the brand. So maybe it's not really a mystery after all, but you don't know what you're gonna get of those brands. So I'm thinking it'll probably be about $40 for eight pieces. So you'll get, you know, maybe your box will have free people, made well, anthro brands, um, eight pieces in your size, no other weird brands that might make you unhappy. And um, yeah, so it would break down to about $5 per piece for the buyer. And I think that's pretty reasonable for those higher end brands that I think a lot of people have commented and let me know they have a hard time finding. So that's kind of my goal. I'll show this at the end, but I won't talk about numbers because they will just be going in mystery boxes. But if you stay tuned for the end, I'll show those as well. So this is a brand, I think my mom has found this brand before. This is Margaret O'Leary which is a designer in San Francisco. Really pretty um, corduroy jacket with kind of the ruffle detail down, it zips down the, the um, bottom. The only reason we were, or she was nervous about picking this up was because there's no size tag, but that just means I can kind of put it on myself, compare it to myself. Um, is it too small for me? Is it right, the right fit? And then disclose measurements is how I um, handle those situations. So 
with this, I'm hoping, I'm going to start at about 75, hoping for about 60. This one was, I don't know, a men's item. So I think a little bit just, it's Huff t-shirt. Uh, couldn't find this exact graphic. It's got a cool skater graphic on the front. Um, not expecting much, but some of these do um, well. So I'm going to start it because the graphic was kind of fun. I'm going to start it at 35, poke for about 25, 28. Um, but yeah, it, it has the marking on like the side. I'm surprised one of the guys at the bins that they all gravitate towards the tees didn't get it. So this is a Vera Bradley. Um, I think I have this exact print in a weekender bag. So I only picked it up because I thought, oh, I could maybe put this with that and bundle it and maybe sell it together, make someone happy. Here's the Tory Burch. Uh, so the, the Vera Bradley, if I sold it on its own, I would only expect about 18 um, for that. Here's the Tory Burch solo. It's just, I don't know what size, but um, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Uh, let's see. These are some Fabletics. These are kind of a, I don't, I'm going to have to look and see if there's a style, but they're kind of a wider and then they, um, Capri style and then they, you know, obviously get tighter right at the bottom. So I don't know what you call that, but it does still have the tag, which is nice because these little rip out tags are often ripped out and it's a size small and January workout. So picked those up. Um, only expecting about 20 for those. So this is the first time I found this brand. However, also at the end of the video, I'll show you one bag of stuff that my mom got on Saturday. We were not together on Saturday. She was going to visit her granddaughters um, further south down in LA. And um, so she stopped by a thrift store and I went thrifting at other thrift stores. And so she found this brand and was really excited because if you guys watch Empty Hanger, she, sh she talks about this all the time. And then literally, again, we've never found this brand. Next day, I find this at the bins, which was great and exciting. So hers was, I think, a little bl blouse. Um, and then this is like a long um, halter dress. So I did find quite a few that, of these that have sold. I'm gonna start at probably about 70 and hope for about 55. I don't know where this is sold, but I think we've found this before. It's Green Dragon. Not sure if it's picking up. This is a, a little dress, kind of fun for spring, very lightweight, but the reason we got it is it's new with tags. Again, I don't know where this is sold, but $90 is the retail, which it's just very lightweight. I mean, I think it would be cute. I'm hoping to get maybe about 20, 25 for that. This is a pair of gray, uh, I want to say they're slim, size 30, slim gray pants by Vince. And I'm hoping to get about 28 for these. That brand is the comps are starting to wean a little bit. I still think it's a really cute brand. It extremely expensive retail, um, but the gray jeans didn't didn't do that great. So, this is another designer exclusively, Misuk, and these are some black kind of flowy pants, comfy stretch pants, um, but like a, a dressier kind of stretchy pant if that makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna start these at forty, hope for about thirty two. This was something that was picked up because it might be a good bundle opportunity if we found same brand and same size. This is a banana, or it might be sold on its own. Um, men's button down. And uh, if it's on its own, I'll probably expect about 20 for that. This is another Cupcakes and Cashmere. Little cute cream lace shorts. Hoping to get about 20 for those. All right, let's see if we're in the right order. Yes, I believe so. And this um, looks like nothing, but it looked funky. So I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but like this side has like kind of sheer, a different texture than the other parts of it. 
I just thought it was too funky, but there was no, you can see it's kind of asymmetrical. There was no tag. And so I'm sitting there going, all right, this is nothing. I'm glad I kept looking because it's not nothing. Learn some, uh, learn a new brand. So this is Ra uh, Raquel Allegra, I believe is how you say it. And why I decided to look it up is on this kind of bigger tag, it says, this piece was thoughtfully handmade in Los Angeles. Note, please don't be afraid of holes from wear or tear that inconsistencies are what make your piece special. We're all one of a kind, which I thought was cute and adorable. And it does kind of just look a little like worn, but that's intentional apparently. So this brand is very high end. This I'm only expecting about 20 to 25 um, because it's not, it's a tank, you know, lightweight tank, but some of the stuff was well over a hundred dollars. So uh, learned a new brand, which is always great. So as you saw the two Fendi shoes, again, it was a Fendi kind of day. I think that's going to maybe be in the title. Just Fendi, Fendi, Fendi. Um, I, at the bins, at the other bins, we went to two different locations, um, found this Fendi scarf, which is just beautiful. To be honest, I think I threw it in the cart and did not give it a good look. Like, is there a hole or anything? But it looks to be good. So there, um, I did get a Burberry scarf at this location. And, but that does not mean it's real. There are no tags, but those can easily be cut off by someone if they don't want them showing because it already shows the brand right here. So I might send this into the real real um, next time I send something in or get it authenticated, um, which I did with a number of my items. I think it's beautiful. I'll try and get this listed as quickly as possible. There are scarves, I think, on eBay and Poshmark sell for anywhere from $100 to $300. Uh, retail, they're like in the thousands, which is pretty incredible. And then later on at the bins, I found a Fendi dust bag, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, I don't think these go for much. I might just use it to put something in. I don't know. There's it's pretty random, but it was pretty much free because it's so lightweight. So the scarf I'm estimating and maybe getting a hundred for Fendi dust bag. I might get 10 bucks for it if I list it on eBay. So we'll see. This is a moth anthropology moth cream sweater, which is really pretty. It had this nice side zipper detail. So I'm gonna hope for about 28 for that. This is my first time finding this brand, which is Max Mara. This was the first piece I picked up, literally picked up in a bin at the second one that we went to. And this doesn't go for very much. So when I looked up comps for this style, it's a little sweater tank. Um, these, you know, 20, 25 is what I'm hoping for, but it's a new brand for my closet. And I was excited to find that. This is some Joie jeans. And these are some green skinnies. I sold some red skinnies for a decent amount. Uh, they had some zip, cool zipper detail, which this one doesn't. But um, yeah, so I thought that I would pick those up. Hoping to get about 35 for those. This is a brand I had to look up. Liverpool Jeans Company. Great size, size 12. Great green, uh, nice green color. And it looks like they're high-waisted, which is nice. Um, I believe everything I found on this is this is a Stitch Fix brand. So I'm hoping to get about 28 for those. This is so soft. This is Parker Blue Cashmere. And this is kind of, um, it does need some sweater shaving. But it's kind of this ombre um, poncho, cashmere poncho, which just feels so soft. So I'm hoping to get about 50 for this. I have found this brand and I know a lot of people are very loyal to it uh, and love picking it up, but I don't know much about it. So, um, but I decided this is a really lightweight tie, so why not? But this is Pendleton and it's kind of perfect for the holidays and I don't think it'll sell by then, but um, very classic and kind of fun. So I'm hoping to get about $20 for that. These are some North Face orange 
I think they're swim trunks, men's, and they're in XL, which is great. And I'm hoping to get only about $20 for those. I don't know if it's the color or the style, um, but they didn't have too high of comps. Some people have said North Face is get, starting to get oversaturated as well. I think it depends on the style. Some of it still goes for quite a bit. So the new brand, Parker Smith. So this is fun. Are you, I hope you guys think this is fun. Uh, I looked it up thinking the label was really cute. Um, it says straight. Yeah, I guess it is a straight. It's like a slim. And it's raw hem. Um, but this brand kind of, kind of was all over the place. I'm only, well, it's all over the place. But I'm going to I'm gonna go with the higher comps and try and get more. And the reason for that is because I, I thought this was so cute. When I gave it a good look, it says <laughs> on the back of the ankles, Lady Boss, which is adorable. Um, so I think these are high-waisted as well and super cute. Size 27, but for all the Boss Ladies out there, um, oh, that's what it, it's not Lady Boss, it's Boss Lady. Oh, man. Um for all the boss ladies out there, if you are a size 27 and you want some jeans and you want to rock the boss lady on the bottom of the jeans, um, you might love these. But I'm going to start these at 65, hope for about 50. I'm going to try and get this under an hour. <laughs> this is Mountain Hardware, just some kind of blush pink um, kind of hiking pants. And I'm going to, I'm hoping for about 30 for that. Okay, it's my second time finding this brand at the bins, which is one teaspoon. I believe this is sometimes sold. Someone told me in the comments at Anthropology, some of it can um, resell for quite a bit. I don't think this one will. It's kind of a racer back button up tank, which is, it looks cute on the stock photos. Uh, so I'm hoping to get, I think I just skipped over a bag. I'm hoping to get about 25 for this. It has some light staining, so I'm going to have to soak it, um, which is fine, but all right. So these are some, another pair of John Barbados. These are swim trunks and I'm hoping to get 28 for this. These are some Prana. I don't think it says Prana. It says Prana right there. Gray hiking pants. And I think they were a good size. Uh, oh, small. Okay. Um, so, yeah, those were a good pickup. And I'm hoping to get 30 for those. Some Torrid, this is size 24. This is an ankle skinny jeans. And I wasn't, I'm not sure about the comps on this. I'm not sure how to price it. I'm gonna have to do some more research. But another Emporio Armani. And I just really like the style. They're kind of a wide leg pant, but if you can see this, it kind of does this little um, snap thing on the side and it has kind of that nice detail so they have pockets they're wide leg very classic I'm not sure how to price them for now I'm just gonna sell start them at 75 and hope for about 50 but I'll have to do some more research on those because some Emporio can go for hundreds some can go for 20 so it's very hit or miss I believe and if I seem a little uh, quiet just, I don't, I'm not feeling great, but I'm glad to get this video up. This is a little Nike zip up. It needs to be soaked and cleaned up a bit, but I'm hoping to get about 25, 28 for that. This is Orvis men's button down. I thought the print was cute, kind of lightweight. They're fishing or um, kind of utility shirts I think do better. So I'm only hoping to get about 20, 25 for that, but Loving finding all the men's brands. This is the Bagalini. Little black 
Bagolini. It seems to be in good shape and it's got the expandable straps. So you could do crossbody. If you could see the piles over here, it's pretty crazy. So I'm hoping to get about 25 for that Bagolini. Here are some Hurley swim trunks, men's swim trunks. In this cool camo, which I thought was really fun. Um, good size, I want to say. Size 34. So I'm hoping to get about 25 for those. This was a cute top. It's little, just a little um, short sleeve chambray Levi's blouse. Um, not expecting much, about um, 20 for that. Last bag of the stuff I'm going to resell. <laughs> and then I'll show you the stuff for the uh, mystery upcoming mystery boxes. So this was uh, interesting. This is Demi, Dami ink but I, I'm gonna have to I, it, it's really cute it's like this button-down jacket with this just very pretty detail all around some of this um, does pretty well on eBay so I'm gonna start that at 50 hope for about 40 this is a J crew it's a navy pea coat so this was pretty heavy but the comps look pretty good it does need to be um, lint rolled and steamed and cleaned up but I'm gonna start that at 75 because they, yeah these navy pea coats or pea coats maybe all of them do pretty well and so I'm hoping to get about 50 this is another kids item it's little vineyard vines but I thought the mint green was super cute I think it's kids it's like a little girls or some I don't know I'll have to yeah I think it's kids but I'm only expecting to get about 15 for that but it was just super cute this is red little skirt, Nike skirt, and I'm hoping to get about 20 for that. And then a Nike, not a skirt, a skirt, maybe like a little tennis skirt, white. Needs to be cleaned. All of this needs to be cleaned or steamed, but that's why I'm trying to get this video up so I can get to cleaning. <laughs> um, this brand, I believe is a designer, Magashoni. Um, this is kind of basic, but some of the stuff can go very high. So I'm going to start it at 30, hope for about 25, but it does have a, I mean, it's cute and it's classic, but it's not super special. There were a few accessories that we're going to give a shot. <clears throat> Pepe jeans, London. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a Navy belt or a blue belt. It should be in really good condition. Like, you know, maybe worn a couple times, but it doesn't have the extreme indents that uh, belts often get. I couldn't find this exact um, style on comps, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research, but for now, I'll just say I'm hoping to get about 20. There's a Patagonia, it's like a little head ear warmer, which is great for the winter. It needs to be lint rolled and washed, but I'm hoping to get about 20 for that. Another Ted Baker tie. And I'm hoping to get about 20 for that. I picked this up, which is a Kenneth Cole, new with tag, uh, tie. It's not good on its own as far as comps, but I might bundle it with something, bring up the price a little bit. And then another tie, this is Brooks Brothers. Really pretty purple blue, or, yeah, purple pinkish. Blue, um, and this one actually these ties do pretty well or um, do pretty well bundled so I'm gonna keep an eye out for more so that might be a bundle one as well this was uh, another Emporial Armani so I guess I found a lot of Armani and Fendi yesterday but this is a really unique leather belt and like all the way around it has but uh, so I'm gonna have to do more research on this because I, it's it's just unique. I mean, it's like you open it, it's like that's how you clasp it. So it's really kind of funky. Um, some of these can go for very high, some of them not. So I'm gonna start it maybe at 50, hope for about 40. And this is the last thing I'm planning on reselling. This is, um, I think you pronounce it Massimo 
Duty. It's a designer. And this was just a really pretty um, beaded, beading all looks good belt. And uh, comps on this were all over the place as well. I'm only expecting about 20 for that, but I thought it was really pretty. I did get a few things that I'm not reselling, like my first time finding Johnny Wes. My mom has found it a couple times. I have not found it. A Johnny Wes bag that I thought if I wash it, I could give this as a freebie if someone buy something very expensive that is in the closet by this brand. A little pink or, uh, Victoria's Secret bag in case someone buys something Victoria's Secret, I can throw that in. I'm gonna throw this in someone's purchase. So if you're watching, you make a purchase and you want these free new tags, um, Christmas socks, they're kind of funny. Um, they're retail 16.50, but uh, I thought that would be a cute little freebie in someone's box before Christmas. I picked this up because I will happily wear it and when I'm doing listing or um, photos or working around the house, but my friend actually started this company and it's a San Francisco company and I thought that was really cool that I found a shirt by his brand. So, and then this is just a scarf and another little scarf that I can wrap up um, stuff when someone buys something. Oh geez, full price. That is quite a ways over there. So pardon me. So I'll quickly show you the stuff that will be in some mystery boxes. Again, all brands will be disclosed. So I'll probably have a box that's like Talbot's, Chico's, Coldwater, J. Jill. For those people that like that type of style, I'll have a box that is Free People, Anthro, Made Well, that kind of box for people who like those brands. Might have something that's like Banana, J. Crew mix of stuff. I'm definitely trying to organize it on a spreadsheet. So if it's not that all these will just go mis mismatched in boxes, but, um, anyways, this is staring at stars. Anthropology needs to be sweater shaved, but it's an adorable, um, sweater. I'm thinking if I get enough, I've always find this the one size brandy Melville. So I thought if I got a whole bunch of this stuff put together, really cheap box, like, you know, maybe 25 bucks for X amount of items, the one size fits all. If you know that brand and you like it, it's kind of trendy. Um, it's pretty inexpensive, but I thought that would, might be a fun box down the road. This is a Madewell blouse, really cute print. These are some Citizens of Humanity jeans. These are a boot cut, but very classic. This is an anthropology, really fun. I might list these, I'll have to do some research. Um, but really kind of fun pant that's kind of wide leg and then it has the slit up the front of the leg. Um, and I'm not sure what the, the brand name is, but the RN number is uh, Anthro. So I thought those were cute. I thought this would be a, like maybe a little nice bonus in a box because it's new with tags. It's the Pleone. Cleone, uh, retail was 58, Nordstrom Rack was 32, and it's just a cute little spring top. This is another brand new Melville, one size fits all. I just feel like it's nice to save some more stuff from the landfill, um, maybe to do these boxes, which will be fun for me as well. I just noticed this tag is cut out, so that's unfortunate. I thought maybe um, a box with some lucky items because that's a uh, popular, you know, people just are very loyal to certain brands, but that doesn't have a size tag. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Be a yard sale. This is a J. Crew, really cute little top. This is Banana Republic, like a skinny, maybe cropped pant. Their pants. This is, I think, yeah, White House Black Market, really pretty black. So the reason I like the size specific is because you could shop for yourself if you just like certain brands and you want them for your own closet, or if you're a reseller, if you like selling those brands or you can't find them very often. Um, but if you get it in your size or a size that maybe you want more of in your closet, I think that's helpful. Um, so this is some Zara cute embroidered high-waisted Kind of dark gray jeans. Getting close to the hour mark. 
Sanctuary, which I believe is Macy's. A little cute spring top. Chaser, which I thought this was a really funky design. It's got this like netting detail on the back. I believe they sell Chaser sometimes at Anthro, so that would go in an Anthro box. The soft surroundings, I thought that might be a good addition with maybe the Talbots, Chico's. Um, these are some really pretty um, ombre style pants. And the reason I won't list these on, I have a lot of stuff that's under, it's, you know, $25 in my closet and it takes a lot of time for listing. And I also have, um, probably 1500 things in my house right now in bins or needs to be, um, processed. So I have a lot of stuff, so I just need to minimize until my sales increase tremendously. I, I, I want to pick this stuff up because it's adorable and I would love to sell it, but I need to be a little bit more picky at the moment. This is Pins and Needles, really cute dress by, I think this is Urban Outfitters. Kimchi Blue, another anthro, or sorry, um, Urban Outfitters, little black loose shorts. This is another new with tags. So loft, and these are um, kind of comfy navy pants. And this is, I thought this would be a good little bonus for a box. Um, so it wouldn't be considered because it's kind of lightweight, like the burnout. Maybe, maybe it could go in a free people box, but it's We the Free. This is a Zara. I thought this was a really funky design. It's like a little romper, like romper overall, some, well, overalls, but like sweatshirt material. So yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. This one needs to be stain treated, but we've had some great luck with getting those out. This is a free people, really pretty blouse. Um, and if it doesn't come out, I'll happily wear it. Say small, but it's oversized. This is Ella Moss. Cute little navy skirt. J. Crew, really cute. Three fourth length sleeve, a classic striped tee. This is another staring at stars, which is anthro, a little strapless dress. I actually have one of this um, collaborations in my closet. This is anthropology. It's featuring the work of Linda. Parrot is maybe, but this print, OMG, is adorable. Like, I, I want someone to get it in a box, but I am super tempted to list that because it's just so cute. This is a free people top. It's kind of lace on the top. I thought that was really pretty. My mom was having all the luck finding a lot of this free people yesterday and anthro stuff for the boxes. I found some. This is another. Um, anthro staring at stars dress. This is an ASOS. It's just a gray midi dress with the cold shoulder, but it's such a great basic classic. So if I find enough ASOS, maybe I can throw a couple boxes with that brand in there as well. Another Zara. This is a really soft navy button down. This might be a little bonus item because it's a little too tiny, but this, I think this is Urban Outfitters, Sparkle and Fade. It's Anthro or, or Urban Outfitters, that's the RN number, um, but it's just a little cropped, I'm um, sorry, yeah, it's a cropped, strapless, stretchy top. A little American Eagle jean shorts, black shorts, kind of distressed, which I thought were fun. Might do that and Abercrombie and & Fitch and Hollister in a box. Because, um, again, these are all stuff that I find. We, we find a lot of. It's a really pretty Talbot's red dress. I thought this would be kind of perfect for Valentine's Day or something like that. So that might be a nice addition in a Talbot's Chico's J. Jill box. Here's a J. Jill. Speaking of, I thought this was beautiful. Well, we're not going to make it under an hour, but I'm almost done. Kimchi Blue is another Urban Outfitters. I think this is a little romper. Yeah, which is adorable. This is 
beautiful anthro dress. Um, and I had to look it up, but the RN number matches and it's a halter, but this print is just stunning. It's like the perfect spring dress. This needs a wash, but I thought this was cute for a good J. Crew box. And it's a black mini dress, but I loved the detail on the sleeves and then at the bottom. This is another Zara, Zara Woman. Really cute, classic, lightweight. This is a pair of Madewell jeans. Again, I think Madewell, free people, and Anthro will be good. That might get priced a little bit higher, um, depending on how many items, just because the value is there, but maybe 10 items for 50 bucks or, um, yeah, just depends. And again, if it's size specific, that's what I prefer. A Vince Navy tee, this might not be good on its own, but I thought if I throw something in extra, that might be good. A little Lucky blouse, which I thought was really cute. I think this is another anthro dress. Where's the tag? Oh man, there we go. Yeah, this is the Postmark, which is an anthro brand. Really cute little dress. I thought this print was super cute. A little Talbot skirt. And I know a lot of people don't like knit skirts, so I definitely have passed on a lot of cute skirts yesterday. But I feel like if you get one, this is just adorable. It's Talbot's, yeah. This is another free people top. My mom actually, so I might do a box of like BCBG, Max Azaria, um, Laundry by Shelly Seagal, some of kind of the higher, higher end designers that again, we find a lot of and we don't always pick up. Um, this is BCBG, Max Azaria. I thought it was adorable. She's like, I don't know. I was like, no, someone's gonna, open this and love this because it's just so colorful and cute. Well, little halter dress, but maybe that's just me. Another BCBG Max Cesaria. I think this is like a tunic, but I thought it was really, the heathered gray was really cute. This is, and I already have stuff collected, so this is not all for the same boxes. So it'll be a mix of stuff. This is where are you lining? Okay, you're lined on the bottom, but not on the top. That's interesting. Okay, this is a, you have to wear a tank under anthro, staring at stars, really pretty dress, but it's sheer on top, which is interesting. This is a Banana Republic, extra fine Italian merino wool, which is a really pretty blue and super soft. A pair of Urban Outfitters, The Silence and Noise, little skinny jeans, like distressed jeans. And then this is the last from yesterday for upcoming mystery boxes. And I believe this is BCBG Max Cesaria as well. Yes. So again, these retail for quite a bit of money. So not sure on the pricing on all these boxes, but if you are interested in the future, they're not ready yet, um, ping me with your size and I can... And maybe um, I can let you know when I've got some ready. Okay, and then if you're still here, that was almost an hour. If you're still here and you want to see my mom's, she's had a few finds from Saturday when we were not together. And I thought she had some really good finds. So I thought, why not? I'll show them to you. Because uh, everyone has really given great compliments on her finds in that one video. Shh, we can't go thrifting all the time together. So I'll continue to do those videos because I think... Um, what I like about when someone shows me what their husband finds or what their mom or their grandmother finds is it shows that it's not just that person. Sometimes it could be like, oh, well, maybe if you're thrifting with your loved one, it's the person like me that would say yes or no, veto certain things. Whereas if they go on their own, it's on them. And it goes to show that this is all just learned knowledge and anyone can learn it. My mom and I have been learning this together, which has been really fun. And, um, I think that's why people like seeing those things. At least that's why I like seeing them. So this is a really cute free people skirt, which is adorable. And I haven't done the comps on this stuff, but this is a beautiful 
I need to set this down because this is just so beautiful. This is a mod cloth and this is a maxi. It's a blue. I don't know if it's silk, but it feels very soft. Um, really, the stock photo on this is beautiful. Um, I can't remember the pricing, but this is picking up more jeans. So these are some Joe's jeans. And these were all regular Goodwill, and, but most of this was 50% off. Unlike my finds at the regular thrift stores, I don't think I had any 50% off because it's the end of the week. This is her Show Me Your Moo Moo blouse, little sheer blouse, which is adorable. Another pair of Joe's jeans. She got a few men's items as well. This is uh, Thomas Pink. And it, she took a little bit of a risk on some of the men's items, but she said the comps were um, pretty decent on this. This is such a pretty dress. It's made well. Just very pretty color. First time either of us have found this brand, Sweaty Betty. It's a little tank. And, um, it's a little hard to see inside, but that's the logo for it. So it kind of zip up tank, which is cute. And then this is rod and gun, another men's button up, button down, button up. I think Rally Roots explained the difference between the two and I was semi paying attention. So this she took a chance on, but she thought it was just too pretty to pass up. It's a brand called raw men's and it's a button down that has all of, just look at this embroidery and then on the back so funky and cool and then you can see the buttons that would be exposed if you were if you were um tucking it in um they are all kind of this funky little buttons um so the brand uh, this brand the comps were all over the place but because it's unique and she couldn't find one exactly like that, she thought it was worth the risk. And then this is the last one, because we live near LA. Um, she does as well, and I do kind of opposite directions, but um, we get a lot of UCLA, USC stuff. This is Tommy Bahama, and this is a black USC. I think it's an XXL, which is a great size, and the comps on this on, on were great on eBay. So. All of that, uh, my numbers on everything. So the if you're if you're still here, the bins. I'm expecting to have an, a sale price of two thousand. My screen went blank for a second. Two thousand sixty eight dollars if everything sold for the estimated prices minus the cost. So I spent about one hundred sixty dollars at both the outlets on one day and at the regular stores on the other day. So one hundred fifty six dollars the outlets. So my profit after the fees and after the cost of the items will be $1,497. And then that's not including the mystery box stuff. So that's 49 items if the mystery boxes are approximately $5 a piece and for the high, you know, higher end stuff, um, estimating about $4 um, return on that stuff, which would be, would be another $196, which is um, amazing to get that much value in one, one day. And then the stores, again, Expected profit is about $712 for when you remove the cost and the uh, fees that would be associated with that. So all in all, I hope this shows both are great experiences. I will continue to shop at regular stores and at outlets, um, but clearly the outlets, it was a good day. You're going to have bad days at the outlets. I certainly have, and I probably will ha have lots more. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave me a comment, hit the like, hit the subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and thanks for watching. Bye.